We have one of the coolest R8s ever made. This is a 2020 R8 Spider. If you take a look, it's wrapped in Expel Stealth. We blacked out all the badges, we tinted the reflectors, and the uh, gentleman wanted uh, the Decennium version, but they don't make it in the Spider. So we gave him the Decennium look, but in a Spider. And what that means is that these wheels are powder coated a specific color that Audi chose for their special series called the Decennium. After that, we did uh, window tint using SunTech ceramic, and then we sealed up the entire vehicle with Ceramic Pro Platinum sealant. If you come to the front, you'll notice that there are jammers built in. There's an ALP jammer here. This is the RX jammer. Then we integrated the TX jammer right in there, and then there's another RX jammer. The cool thing about the TX jammer is this is the strength of three of these RX jammers, but in a much smaller size. This system's coupled with Redenso. To make this car more aggressive, we did a Rift Co exhaust. It's hand welded titanium. You really bring out the V10 sounds in the car. Coupled with the exhaust, we did a VF engineering tune, which gives you a lot more horsepower, a lot more torque, much better response and releases all the limiters on the car. If we go inside the car, you'll see the uh, Redenso display. good friend Chris Gabrizi and he's always telling me you have an SUV you're this you're that he has a Range Rover SVR and he's like bro you got to use your truck we took it off-roading down in the Cape it was awesome and then he was like we really need to take this mudding it's like all right I've got the Toyo open country MT tires and I figured you know what this is the perfect truck to go off-roading in I took it off-roading and got it in some mud. There's a lot of stuff on the roof too. We are installing a single DIN detachable face Alpine radio with Bluetooth. So what are the upgrades between the new and the old? Bluetooth, no Bluetooth. USB, no USB. Auxiliary input, CD changer input. This beeping is probably gonna make our viewers cry. This is automotive life. <laughs> you deal with the beeping. We also did the convertible top controller on this. So you do one, two, three. And that'll control the convertible top up and down, which didn't work. <laughs> and take two. Did you press and hold on this one? Talking your gadgets are failing. I know, seriously. <laughs> Demo fail. <laughs> Come on. Oh, we never did it on this car. We were supposed to. We never did it. That's why it's not working. 